Do not go anywhere because in today's show, I'm going to be telling you the difference between a digital SLR and in today's video, I'll be looking at the 1300D and Amelia's camera with one of my favorite cameras of all time, the M50. Now, in the time of this video, I cannot wait to play and show you the R50, but until then, check out this video. So to begin with, I'm going to be showing you the awesome awesome 1300D, which is a really nice camera. So I want to start by taking off its lens cap and explain to you why I enjoy this camera. Now, this is actually uh, my first photography camera when I wanted something separate from my phone. And I've probably had this a few years now. I couldn't even tell you how long I've had it. Um, but it's a very nice camera, very easy to use, interchangeable lenses. I always like doing this, so let's have a look. Let's take it off like that. There you go. You can see that, look at that beautiful shot there. And we're back in shot, yep. Yeah. <laughs> and let's see if we can get that satisfying lens sound. Here we go. Right, hang on. Oh, oh, here on live TV. Oh, he's not going to do it. Oh. Hey, there it is. That satisfying lens sounds. I really enjoyed that. We'll just do that once today. Um, Splash like if you're getting value. Um, but this camera is just really, really cool, even in the time of this video. Now, you could check out his younger brothers, the 2000 or the 4000D. Both cameras I've talked about, and both cameras I plan to talk about more. Um, but what's really cool about this camera is, obviously, you can get good deals on this because it's like the older brother. And it's no longer sort of sold, really. But it's very similar. It's an 18 megapixel camera, digital SLR, a nice screen. It's not touch, but it's very easy user-friendly, you can play around in different settings. I recommend, as a beginner, just put it into auto mode and off you go. But obviously you can play around with shutter speed and ISO, just put it into manual mode. And I recommend, personally, experimenting with, with that is my best recommendation. And obviously you do have a flash. Now before we carry on, I'm Dave from TVR Creators, and I make weekly content on the best cameras for content creators or people to start out if this is your hobby. So if that sounds interesting, you don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, what else to tell you about this camera? It does have a flash. Now, obviously, this is a first photography camera, really. So you could use the viewfinder to take your photo or the screen. I personally prefer the screen just because I come from a generation where we use our phones or point and click. Actually, that's not 100% true obviously i come from a generation where we used to use point and shoot cameras and in video mode i used to use camcorders and off i went but uh, <laughs> but obviously you can you can do video with this particular camera i personally wouldn't recommend it it just record you know nicely in hd as long as you've got good light but i personally wouldn't say you know if, if you're a content creator or somebody sign out on video we're talking about more about that type of camera later. Uh, but obviously if you wanna do a bit of video for your business or hobby, you obviously can. Uh, you can change your lenses. I actually have a 75 um, to 300 mil lens, which is really nice for taking up close-up close shots or for that sort of, you know, narrow angle shot. If you wanna take, you know, I've taken some nice photos of family in the distance and stuff like that, which is really cool. Um, but the kit lens that comes with this is an 18 to 55 mil, which is perfectly fine for whatever photos you're taking to begin with. Now feel free to ask your questions, comments below, and I'll do my best to answer them. Um, <laughs> now obviously, it just has lots of different modes. Obviously it has manual, it has sort of face mode, mountain mode, it does have video mode, it's easy to on and off, it has sort of plant mode, sort of sports mode. But you know, so obviously it has lots of different modes, but I personally would just experiment. And if you're a beginner, like I've said before, I would definitely just put it to auto. Now the main difference between a mirrorless camera and a digital SLR is obviously the size. And as you can see, there's a massive size difference in the two cameras, and I'll talk about this one in a moment. Now, if you're getting value so far from this video, and if you watch a few of my videos and you want to support the channel, uh, check out the link in this description or the pinned comment to click and buy us a coffee. And that supports everything we do here on the channel. Now, I'm going to get to the camera. Now, if you're looking for a camera that's video, you don't quite maybe want to get the R50, or perhaps you just want something that's a good deal, good price, I would recommend checking out the M50. Now, this is actually the first one. I'm actually using the Mark II to record um, this video. Now, for those of you that don't already know, though I know some of you will, but most of you might not, the M50 is still my favorite camera of all time because I used it, this particular one was my powerhouse for video and literally all my videos for about three years. And I absolutely love this camera and I'll explain to you why. Now I'm gonna start by taking off the cap. I'm not gonna take off the lens because as you saw earlier, I'm a bit of a dope and it takes me ages <laughs> to do it, especially a lot. If I'm not recording, I do it straight away, but for some reason. Now, the kit 
kit lens that comes with the M50 or the M50 Mark II is a 15 to 45. Am I right? Yes, 80. Sorry, 15 to 45. <laughs> and to set it up, you have a little switch there, and you just turn it here a little click. There's another little click there, satisfying click noise, and that just prepares the lens. Why to do that? I suppose it's a safety thing. Um, it's just to sort of get you ready, that sort of thing. Um, and also it's quite handy actually if you're going to record video and uh, you want it to be in focus, that just prepares it. Now, if I would massively recommend one of these if you're starting out in video and get these for a really good price. Now the price for the 1300D is like two, 300, depending on where you get it from. Bear in mind that's a photography camera, video cameras always cost more, especially when they're decent. Now you get one of these for about 450, 500, depending on where you get it from. Now these are brilliant. Now the kit lens comes with it, 15 to 45 mil is great for video, great in low light personally, but obviously if you've got the light that I've got today, I've got different lights around the studio, or if you're filming outside, obviously that's easier. Now you can use this as a photography camera. I would recommend it as such because it is brilliant, it takes great photos. And some of my best photos I've taken have been with either this or my M100, which I use for a lot of my thumbnails. Now, why do I say this is a video? Um, camera. Well, it does have the viewfinder. It has a flip touch screen, which is really cool. Um, now, obviously, if you just want it, it takes absolutely superb photos. No offense, but this will walk all over the 1300D, in my personal opinion, but then it should do because it costs twice as much. Now, in a sense of video, again, you do have auto mode for photography. You do have all the different modes you can play with shutter speed and ISO. Now, when I'm doing video, I personally like to, because I come from a video background of the, you know, like the camcorders, point, shoot, go, I personally don't like messing around with settings. I like to make sure I've got good light anyway, either indoors or outside. I like to put it into video mode and off I go. And the M50 does all the heavy lifting for you. Now it does record in HD and 4K. I personally would still recommend HD just because it's smaller fi files to edit later and it takes up less space on your computer and all that jazz. But obviously if you want to future proof yourself, it can record in 4K, but obviously there are better cameras that do that even better. Um, hence the R50. <laughs> I don't know why I went all. Jeremy Clarkson there. Uh, <laughs> obviously you can go into play mode and with the touch screen it makes it very easy to play around with the, the, the settings of the camera and also you can see what you've recorded and it's just quite nice and what's good about the flip screen you can turn it around um, and you can see what you're recording so for those of us who have filmed or taken photos using our phone in the last sort of 10-15 years you will love the fact that you can see what you've recorded which is what makes this camera great or for those of you that have used GoPros for example um, now why I love this camera, now I'm going to be honest, Why? what do you need as a video photographer or a content creator or for most of the word YouTuber. Now why do I love this camera for that? It has a flip screen so you can see what you're doing, it has a microphone jack which is just here so you can attach a microphone to the top. I recommend a shotgun mic to record your audio or you could use a clip-on mic they can clip onto yourself or a wireless one that they cost a bit more and you will improve your audio. But this does have a nice internal microphone which is perfectly fine for indoor recording or outside if it's not too windy but you will get that annoying noise if you're recording outside and it's windy. So I definitely recommend a shotgun microphone with a foam on the top and that will make recording so much easier for you. <laughs> Now, what else do I, I, I love this camera. Now, I don't want to go into massive detail because for those of you that have seen lots of my videos, I have loads of videos on the M50, so go check them out over on the channel. But I just want to say a few more things about this. Easy to record button, easy to use, a viewfinder for photography, it does have a flash, attach a microphone to it, flip screen, interchangeable lenses, depending on what uh, setting or what your case is. But I personally feel that the 1545 kit lens that comes with this is perfectly fine if you're just starting out on video especially, but obviously you can upgrade with better lenses down the road or get an adapter if you've got an older or better lens or perhaps you want to spend more money. I've debated quite a few times of just getting a better lens and just putting on one of these M50s to see what the results are but, and that would improve the video even more, which is something I might yet do when I get my R50, but we shall see. Um, but yeah, ultimately the M50 is great and I absolutely love this camera for so many reasons and as you can probably tell, <laughs> I, I love the M50 for so many, so many reasons. Um, so here's the size difference then between the digital 
uh, 1300D digital SLR and the mirrorless camera, which basically just means it's mirrorless. <laughs> And here it is in all its glory. I absolutely love these cameras, especially this one. And uh, so my recommendation for you then, if you want something that's just easy to use, a good, maybe a dad or in video a little bit, but you mainly want it for photography, I would check out the 1300D or perhaps his younger brothers, the 2000 or the 4000D. But if you want to start out and you don't quite want to spend a fortune on the R50, I would definitely recommend checking out the M50 or the Mark II. Now, the only main difference between the Mark I and the Mark II, really, is a few little settings and the fact you can do what's called clean HDMI, which allows you to do streaming more easily with the Mark II. So that's something I'm still yet to do personally because I haven't done streaming for a while, but something you can do. Now, if you're getting value so far from this video, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I want to say like and subscribe if you're getting value but don't go anywhere because in a moment or actually i say in a moment they're probably on the screen right now i want to leave you two end cards that are going to bring you even more value one will go in one direction one will go in the other but whichever road you take i'll see you in the next video why because you guys rock